Welcome back. You're watching your regional news wrap. The long discussed debate about who should collect taxes from CFB Cold Lake is finally coming to a close. After meeting with the County of Lac La Biche, Bonneville, and Cold Lake officials, the Government of Alberta has outlined a framework that would realign municipal taxes from the Cold Lake Air Weapons Range and put it back into the city of Cold Lake in order to make it a more viable community. It's really uh, a good day today that the Government of Alberta have actually stepped up and said, you know what, we will, we will be able to help you. A final meeting has been scheduled for the end of September with the Alberta Treasury Board to finalize that agreement. Well, the 10th anniversary of 9-11 passed this week. 26 Canadians were killed in the tragedy, including Lloydminster native and hockey hero Garnett Ace Bailey. Teammates described him as everescent, the glue that held the locker room together and kept everybody loose. It, it's tough to keep morale up in a group, you know, the fellas that don't play. and It's easy to kind of, uh, some of the teams would have guys kind of complaining. Whereas Ace was always so upbeat and full of positive energy and, and uh, just bringing everybody together in a, in a positive direction. In the wake of his death, his family started a foundation in his name. It's raised one and a half million dollars through various fundraisers and helped sick children in the Boston area, a cause that was always close to Bailey's heart. One local clothing company that sells products online features shirts with shocking slogans and images. Although they might offend locals, police say the shirt company is guilty of nothing but potentially bad taste. It's more than just being offensive. You have to be, it's got to be willful and uh, inciting hate requires more than just someone being offended. It requires some active um, backlash against that particular group. Local lawyers agree, noting freedoms of speech and expression are fundamental, Charter writes. Removing graffiti off school property will be easier and cheaper this year for the Lloydminster Public School Division. Back in June, they bought a new machine and LPSD maintenance crews took it for a test run this week. The Tornado ACS doesn't use harsh chemicals to get the paint off. A past chore for the cleanup crew. Because you put it on in little bits and you scrub it in real good with a brush. you got to be dressed up chemicals. Uh, they're very corrosive, very harmful to people um, and, and the environment. The annual cereal drive has kicked off for Lloydminster Catholic Elementary Schools. All donated cereal helps support the school's breakfast and after school programs. In line with Saskatchewan's Breakfast for Learning Week, each school is kindly requesting for donated boxes of healthy cereal. So you wouldn't get sick. These students win a prize for donating the most cereal, but most of them just want to help out their fellow students. Harley riders from all around the border city hopped on their hogs last weekend and gathered in the parking lot of the cooler. The event was the first of what's hoped to be an annual toy run where riders brought a new toy or cash donation to be given to the Salvation Army for use at Christmas. Bikers in general uh, want to do something for kids so this was very easy for us to uh, conspire and this is what we've come up with here today. Organizers say based on the overwhelming response this time around, the event will be hitting the road again next year. That is what you missed in regional news this week. After the break, another charitable cause hits Bud Miller Park this weekend. The Terry Fox Run is next on Around the Region.